Brother Joseph Thambi was born on 11th November 1890 to Shavari Muthu and Rosamalle Maria at Saigon in present Vietnam. His parents named him Rayap Joseph Thambi. When he was two years old, the family returned to their hometown Karaikal in the Union Territory of Pondicherry in India. His mother died when he was just seven years old. His stepmother did not take care of him well, so at the age of 12, he left home and was brought up in Kerala by a pious lady. In 1932, he joined the Capuchins at Kollam, Kerala and received the Franciscan Third Order habit as a postulant. He had to leave the Capuchins before novitiate due to filaria and too much piety leading to ecstasy which was suspected to be fits of epilepsy. As a Franciscan tertiary, he was going from place to place in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. He was living by begging and going to the field work along with others. What he received by begging and work, he was helping the poor. At the same time, he never forgot to promote the secular Franciscan order. In 1937, he came to Andhra Pradesh. He stayed in Vitragunta for a few months, living his simple life, praying and teaching people how to pray. Then he came to Kesarapalli near Vijayawada and stayed there for an year. In 1939, he made Pedautapalli as his home. The then parish priest, Father John B. Calderaro, gave him a small house to stay near the parish church. While in Pedautapalli, he brought so many people to Christ. He was visiting all the nearby villages, leading people to Christ. He was receiving the five wounds of Christ for his body. He had the gift of healing, gift of prophecy and the gift of bilocation. As he foretold, he died on 15th January 1945 at the altar which he himself built and dedicated to St. Francis of Assisi in Boyapati House. His simple life and holy life won so many friends and devotees. Today, lakhs of people visit his tomb and pray for his powerful intercessory prayers. Many testify of healings and many other favors through his intercessory prayers. He is declared servant of God on 24th June 2007. May his intercessory prayers help us.